Another organ system in the human body is the respiratory system. The respiratory system is the system which exchanges gas with the air. The process of breathing makes sure that there is a steep concentration gradient maintained for gas exchange to take place. The main gases which are exchanged are oxygen from the air into the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood into the air. The lungs are situated in the thorax, which is the chest. The thorax and the abdomen are separated by the diaphragm. The abdomen is where the digestive system organs are. If you follow the respiratory system down from the mouth, you have the trachea, which is the windpipe, separating out into two bronchi, one in each lung. From the bronchi, we have the bronchioles, and then many alveoli on each bronchiole. The lungs need protecting, which is the role of the rib cage. In between each rib, there are muscles known as the intercostal muscles. The intercostal muscles and the diaphragm bring about the ventilation of the lungs. When you breathe in, the ribs move outwards and upwards, and the diaphragm flattens or contracts. This means that the lung volume increases, and so the pressure in the lungs decreases. The atmospheric air is at a higher pressure, so air is drawn in. When you breathe out, the ribs move inwards and downwards, and the diaphragm moves up or relaxes. This means the volume decreases, and pressure increases. This results in air being forced out of the lungs. The exhaled hair has a higher carbon dioxide concentration and a lower concentration of oxygen. The concentration of nitrogen remains almost constant. In the alveoli is where the gas exchange between the air and the blood occurs. The alveoli provide a large surface area for diffusion. They have a rich blood supply and air supply in order to maintain a concentration gradient. The walls of the alveoli are very thin to provide a short diffusion pathway. All of this allows the exchange of gases in the lungs to be rapid and efficient.